Right, so one of the little techniques I'm going to get you to, uh, to feel here, when we're hitting these shots, I'm going to put a grip, putting a grip behind the club. I can even do it this way. And what I want you to practice is raising the club up. Now the way that we're going to do that is by using your right hand a little bit more. So we're just going to use the right hand to bring the club up. So it's going to feel like you're doing this here. Don't worry if you don't hit the ball solid straight away, but I definitely want you to feel like you get the club up above. So up above. Yeah, hit this way. So you have a go at that. Very good. It's okay. Yeah. Very good. So the ultimate goal is to go up above and also miss it on the way down. Yeah. So you did that the second time. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> so you just asked me before about right hand, left hand. You definitely need to feel more right hand on the way back. Yeah. You need to get the club to come up faster yeah. you know, on chip shots. Beautiful. That looked very different to the first few shots that uh, uh, that we've seen you hit before. Yeah. Very nice. And chipping like a pro. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so to, to explain, when we did full swing earlier today, I mentioned uh, attack angle. And all that means, I'll just re-explain is, when you're coming into the ball, it's how much down you're hitting on the ball that creates a negative attack angle. I mentioned when you were hitting an iron, we want that to be negative three, negative four, and yours was zero. Yeah. When you're hitting these chip shots at the beginning, your attack angle is probably zero, mm. and, it's, and you're topping the ball a lot. When we use our wrists, what we're doing is we're moving the attack angle like this. So we're hitting down into the back of the ball. Have you ever seen or played uh, pool or snooker? Now sometimes when they're playing, you know, the ball gets stuck behind another ball like this and they come in there and they hit down into the back of the, and it pops over. That's what I'm getting you to do in a golf sense. So you're popping down like this and the ball pops over. Yeah. So you're able to hit more solid chip shots. And the good thing is with you, what I would advise is, learn to use a nine iron or a pitching wedge for longer chip shots and use this for your short ones. Okay. But you should practice exactly like this. You'll get better much, much faster with these shots. So let's hit a few more and then we'll hit some, we'll hit some longer ones. Like a boss. Magic. <laughs> Magic. 